Hello friends, I am Trishan Nakal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about how to print the following pattern in QBasic. In this video, I will teach you how to print this type of pattern on QBasic. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share among the friends. You can type Tulsiram Dakal on YouTube search and you can get my channel videos. And there are nearly 190 videos. Please watch that videos and get information from that videos, different videos. The videos are of English, GK, IQ as well as computer science. Okay, let's start Q basic. I have to print the following pattern. Before printing this, I will show you a small program which is not the nested loop. We use nested loop here, uh, outer loop and inner loop. But first I will teach you only the only one loop. How to print 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After that, we will mix the inner loop also. C and S, clear screen for I equal to 1 to 5 because we have to print, we have to start from 1 and we have to end up to 5. We have to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I equal to 1 to 5. Print I. Next I. End. Now, how the loop will go, I will teach you. Uh, first, the value of i equal to 1. So, it prints, print i. So, it print 1. And again, it increases the value of i increase by 1. That's why it becomes 2. i equal to 2, 2 to 5. And I, I have to print i, print i. The value of i is 2. That's why it print 2. Again, it increase by 1. The value of i become 3 now. So, 3 to 5, it is true. That's why it print 3. After that, again, it increase by 1. And it the value of i becomes 4. It prints 4. And again, it increase by 1, 5. When the value of i becomes 6, 6 to 5, this is not satisfied. So that the loop will end. In this way, we print 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But this print I brings on down stepwise, that is row. If you put your semicolon, if you put your semicolon on print, then it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a single line. We have to remember this. Now we'll print this type of format. Let's learn this. Clear screen for i equal to 1 to 5. Because we have to start from 1 and we have to end up to 5. This is the outer loop. And then after we use inner loop, j equals 1 to i. This i. Then after print j. Then Increase the value of j by 1, next j. Then after we have to move on next line. That's why we have to put print. And then after next i inner loop increase and it. Now how it works? I will show on the row and column format. Now let's, I draw your 5 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And I draw your 5 rows. 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the 5 columns. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns are here. And rows also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now how it works? Let's see. First the value of i becomes 1. And it goes on in a loop. The j is also 1. This is of i and this is of j1. 1 to i. 
the value of i is 1, that's why it is true. So it prints j. It prints j means the value of j is 1. And then after next j, again this loop repeat, the value of j becomes 2, 2 to 1. It is not satisfied, so it jumps on next line, because print means it goes on next row. And then after next i, the value of, sorry, the value of i increased by 1. Now the value of i becomes 2. And again it jumps in inner loop. Now j equal to 1 to i. i The value of i is 2. 1 to i it is true. That's why it prints here j value. First the value of j is 1. And again next j. Now it is repeated. j The value of j becomes 2. 2 to 2 is true. Means the value of i is 2. 2 to 2 is true. That's why it prints 2 here. And then after, again next j, the value of j becomes 3. 3 to i is false. Because the value of i is 2 and it is greater. That's why it is false. So it jumps on next line. That's why print means it goes on third row. And then after next i, now the value of i increased by 1. It means 3. Now the value of i becomes 3. J starts from 1. 1 to 3, this is true. That's why it prints here 1. And then again it starts or it repeats. So when it is repeated, the value of J becomes 2 now. This 2 to 3 is also true. That's why it prints 2 here. Again it repeats. 3 to 3 is true. It prints 3. And again it repeats the value of J becomes 4. 4 is not satisfied with this 3. That's why it goes on next line. Print means it brings the next line. So, in this way it repeats until it is satisfied. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When the value of i becomes 6, 6 to 5 is false. Means it is unsatisfied. That's why it ends the loop. So, in this format, we can print 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, we should not miss this semicolon. If we miss semicolon, it prints 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have to put here semicolon. We should not miss it. And next thing is that, if you do not keep this print here, if you do not write print here, then I already told you that the print command keeps or brings or breaks the line. It jumps on next line. So if you do not print here, then it becomes 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's why you have to put your print command or you have to write print command to bring that on next line. And then the second is the easiest one. If you know this, it becomes very easy to learn the second one. Because if we print the outer loop, print next i int. Now see here, if we print the inner loop, it gives this type of pattern. But if we print this outer loop, I, then it prints this type of pattern. It prints this type of pattern. So, let's start now. For I is equal to 1, the first time the value of I is 1. 1 to 5, it is true. That's why it jumps on next line. J equal to 1, first time the value of J is 1. 1 to I, I is 1, it is true. That's why it prints I. I means the value of I is 1. Now, again, the loop, inner loop repeated. When it is repeated, it is false because 2 to 1 is false. That's why it prints or it goes on next line. And then after the value of i increased by 1, 2 to 5. And then after j starts from 1, 1 to 2, this is true. And then after it prints i, the value of i is now 2. That's why it prints here 2. Again, the inner loop repeats. Now the value of j becomes 2. 2 to 2 is true. That's why it prints again the value of i that is 2. And 
When the value of j becomes 3, it is unsatisfied. That's why it jumps on next line. It goes on next line. Now the value of outer loop increased by 1. The value of i becomes 3. I, the value of i is 3. 3 to 5. It is true. So again it is start from here. It jumps on next line. The value of j becomes 1. 1 to i value is 3. It is satisfied. That's why it prints 3 here. Because it prints i. The value of i is 3. Again next time it repeats. When it is repeated. At that time the value of j becomes 2. 2 to 3 is true. That's why again it prints the value of i in the same line. Again it repeats 3 to 3. It is true. When it becomes 4 to 3, it is false and it jumps on next line. Again the value of i increased by 1. In this case, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. But when the value of i becomes 6, 6 to 5, it is unsatisfied. So, in this case, the loop will end. So, when we print inner loop, in that case, we print the different type of pattern. Different pattern. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. But when we print the outer loop, in that case, the same number repeated in the same line. So, it is easy one. And in next one, in next one, it is also the easy one. I will show you the practical also. I will add the video, this video with the practical session also, so that it makes you easy. Now, see here, it is start from 5, 5, 4, first 5. After that 5, 4, then after 5, 4, 3, then after 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now see here, clear screen, outer loop. First outer loop, we have to go from this one. For i equals to 5, 2, 1, and we have to decrease the step, step minus 1. And the inner loop also, for j equals 5 to i step minus 1 for the different one 5, 5, 4 different so number so we have to print sorry here we have to print print the inner loop that is j then after we have to repeat or increase the inner loop value by 1 so next j then after print Next i, then after 8. How it prints? Let's see. First, the value of i is 5. 5 to 1, because step minus 1, it is decreasing. So, it is satisfied. So, it jumps on next line. j equal to 5. The value of j also 5. 5 to i, i is also 5. 5 to 5 is true. That's why it prints j. j means the value of j is 5. That's why it prints 5. And then after next j, 4 to 5, it is false because it is in decreasing order. So, it is false. So, it jumps on this line and we have to go on next row. Next i, the value of i decreased by 1. Now, the value of i becomes 4. 4 to 1, it is true. That's why it jumps on next line. 5 to i. First, it print 5 to i means it checks the condition. 5 to i, it is true. That's why it prints j. It prints j. 5. And it increased by 1. And 4 to i, it is true. That's why it prints here 4 also. In this way, it repeats and it becomes 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you print, if you print, Inner loop, in that case it prints 5, 5, 4, 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But when you print the inner loop, uh, outer loop, in that case it becomes 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 